Sylvia from Scrappy Mania and today I'm going to show you a new thing that I got. It's a stamping gear and I'm going to show you how to use it and then a layout that I use creating it. So if um, you can get the gear in a kit and it comes with the oval, the circle, um, the middle gear, I'm not sure how you call this, and then the circle gear. So. I'm going to show you how to use the smaller circle and then the bigger circle. So it comes with, if you buy this set, it comes with four stamps, set of stamps. And we're going to use, let me see which one I'm going to use. I'm going to use this feather one. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your stamp and you're going to place it on this block. And either you can face it this way or the other way. It doesn't really matter. It just depends how you want to use it. So I'm going to go ahead and have the um, branch facing outwards. And then I'm going to, it's kind of in the middle of the paddle. And that's going to be inside my gear. So you're just going to take some paper. And first I'm going to go ahead and use the smaller gear to stamp around the page. And I'm using basic brown from Stamping Up. And he's going to stamp up your ink very well. Bring this over here. And you just stamp around. You can either stamp between each of the gears or you can actually skip the, um, skip a gear or a section. Okay, so when you're ready to stamp on the other side you can keeping your finger on the gear just turn the paper and then continue stamping and I think I got everything yeah okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the middle put something in the middle I'm going to take this one off and I'm going to use a smaller one and I'm going to go ahead and stamp the middle and this one I'm going to skip every other notch So there is my um, my image. So you can cut it out or you can make a bunch of these kind of image all over the page. Now I'm going to show you a layout that I use using the gears. So what I did is I took some cream cardstock and I cut out, I mean I, I um, stamped around it with the different type of gears. Then I'd use my die cutter machine, my Cricut, and I cut a scallop circle, and that, and then I cut it in a quarter inch of my scallop circle, and that's going to go there. Then here I went ahead and placed my image or my picture on a frame, and this is using the Martha Stewart um, punch around the page or, or stamp around the page, and that's and then I I matted that on another brown cardstock and put some brad. So I'm going to start getting it, everything assembled. And I also use a lot of um, brown ink. I use the same Stamping Up Basic Brown to ink the edges. Okay. 
Okay, and then I'm going to put my little bird right there. For this, I am going to use some regular, it's a chipboard, um, made out of regular cardstock. Well, actually, it's a chipboard, and then I, I put cardstock to um, finish the chipboard. This is one of my flowers, foam flowers, that I created some time ago and I show you a video how to do this. And that's going to go there. Then I'm going to place this flower. And it's going to go in the middle. I'm going to go ahead and place, this is a fabric um, um, image I stamped. I took. Um, I have a bicycle stamp. I stamped it, I embossed it, and then I color mist it on canvas fabric. And then after I did that, I cut it out. And I did put a, I did put a stiffener prior to stamping my canvas fabric. I did use a stiffener to make it almost like paper, and it almost behaved like paper. You can really sometimes you can tear it up, tear it up. So um, that's what I did. I used to use that stiffener, let it dry, stamped it, embossed it, and then color mist it. Okay. And this is a stamp that I bought. And it's a date stamp. I'm not sure what company it's from, but I got it on Tuesday morning. So I'm using this stamp right here. That says estimated, dated, and then created by. Once I stamped it, then I cut it apart, and that's what I'm going to put here. And I'll fill that in later, and then I went ahead and used my Acucut. And I, I spelled out my letters using the same brown cardstock that I used for my mat. And that's going to go on top. And it's, it says in Spanish, uh, el flaco, which means the skinny guy. And that's it's going to be my title. And I'm going to start from the edge in, inward. So there's my layout. So I hope you like the tutorial and come back to see me for some more. Bye.